Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is a, actually an image from Club Couture that if I remember correctly, I think I did around last February, March, and it says just keep breathing. I think this is beautiful. I did it on the Aiden board. It's a magnetic porcelain coated um, chalkboard. Beautiful um, distressed frame. Perfect for any decor. So it goes with just about anything. And I am going to change this up tonight. I mean, spring's gone. We're getting towards the end of summer, right? Time for something new. And I pick something perfect for Motivational Monday. So that's what I'm going with. So to get started, there's a couple different ways to erase your design. When you've chalked on chalkboard, spritz it with water. I'm getting used to the spray bottle. I bought it from Amazon and it's not quite like my chalk one. It's got a little bit of overspray, so I just want to be a little bit careful with that. Oops, and I need some across here. Oops. See, <laughs> it doesn't spray quite the same. I'll get used to it though. Anyway, so you spritz it with water and you could do a couple different things. You could use our board eraser, you could use our paste scraper, or you could use paper towel to remove it. And the paste scraper, you could actually scrape the paste um, off as it's dry and then wet it and get the, the remaining amount. But um, I prefer, well, you'll see, but I prefer pretty much I'm a board eraser person. I thought for Motivational Monday, this really was on target. And of course, you know me, I'm a t-shirt girl, so I definitely see this on a t-shirt in my future. What do you think? Don't be a lady, be a legend, right? How cool is that? So I'm going to set this aside and clean up this board so that I can reuse it. It's one of the great things about chalking. You can reuse many surfaces. So you don't have to have a lot of surfaces if you're limited on storage or whatever. It works out perfectly. I'm just gonna soak up a little bit of this water. I sprayed a little bit more than I realized. I don't want it getting down into my frame. So, paste scraper, real easy. You could use it dry, you could use it wet, but it makes quick work of removing the paste from your surface. Now this isn't gonna get all of it, it's gonna require a little bit of elbow grease here. And like I said, this image has been on since early spring, might have even been still winter when I did it, I think in February, March. Um, so there might be a little bit of ghosting here, especially since they were highly pigmented um, chalk paste that I used, but we'll take care of that. I'll show you how easy it is to, to handle it. So let me just get the majority of the paste off of here. And then if you have ghosting, and sometimes it happens if your image is on, been for, on for a long time, and there's a little bit of ghosting here, I'm going to just use my board eraser. Truly, if I had probably scraped it a little bit more, I wouldn't have to bother. But So I'm wetting my board eraser, and I am just going to go over this and get the remainder of the chalk paste off of here and any place that it's ghosty. So you can see how quickly this works. Good idea to have a paper towel around so that you could, oops, I had a crumble of paste there, so you could basically dry it. And also our microfiber side of our fuzzing towel is great for drying your boards after you re um, remove the image. It's like, where did I put my fuzzing cloth? And this helps eliminate any streaking or anything else. I might have a little bit more paste on here that I need to get off. Like right at the bottom. So 
Sometimes I cut my board eraser in pieces. I probably should have cut this in half. It's round, so it doesn't really make it into corners very well. But if I cut it, problem solved, right? Okay. So you can see how easy it is to remove the paste off of a surface and then be able to reuse the surface. Easy peasy. I mean, seriously. And I don't have a lot of storage space around here, seriously. Um, <laughs> my life is in flux is the only way I could describe it. It's just um, in the middle of moving from one thing to the other and um, I never really know what a day is going to bring. And that's fine. Just got to roll with it, right? So here for Motivational Monday, here's the deal. Don't be a lady. Be a legend. I love it. I was always such a quiet... Whoa. Hang on a second. Just tipped a, wa a closed water bottle on my laptop keyboard. Make sure that's totally closed. Woo! Not good. I was always a quiet child, and um, I think it was okay when I was a child. You know, I wasn't rambunctious. I was quiet. I did as I was told. You know, whatever. I really didn't get in much trouble at all. But there's a balance between being quiet and standing up for what you believe in. And as I got older, I learned to stand up for what I believed in. But a lot of times, I was quiet. I was still quiet. And it's taken me to this age to look at this and say, this resonates with me. Do what you want to do. do. Don't discard your dreams. Don't let anybody ever, ever discourage you. Do what's in your heart. Be a legend. Don't be meek and quiet. Stand up and be counted. So I'm fuzzing it a little bit because our porcelain chalkboard is very, very smooth. Did I mention it's magnetic yes it's magnetic it's our Aiden board and we have now the Verity board is back too which is absolutely beautiful I haven't decided what I'm putting on it but anyway because it's porcelain over steel it is very very smooth and your transfer will stick very snugly to it so I'm just fuzzing a little bit more than I would otherwise because I don't want any issues when I go to lift it up and it's still very, very sticky. Okay, so. Sorry, picked up some dog for uh, poor little Mags. <clears throat> My little husky. I'm actually thinking about getting that vacuum cleaner so I could vacuum and brush her at the same time. I've seen the advertisement featuring a husky, which, um, believe me, if you've ever had one, no dog shuds like a husky. I had a, a golden that I thought was golden and something else, and I realized in retrospect he was probably golden and husky. Can you imagine? Um, and he shed, he would shed like crazy. But Miss Maggie has <laughs> got him beat. Okay, so the colors that I chose for this are Duchess, one of our colors of the month, and Shimmer Frost. I'm a blue person. I love blue. Blue makes me happy. So I am going to do Don't Be A uh, and Be A uh, in the Duchess. And then I'm going to use the Shimmer Frost for Lady and Legend. And really make it pop out. Ooh, isn't that beautiful, beautiful, shimmery, royal kind of a looking blue? So I'm just applying the paste on my board with my squeegee going over the silk screen pushing it through the silk screen getting rid of any lines any excess paste I'll put the excess paste back in the jar now look at how little that used isn't this amazing just a teensy teensy little bit of paste and you're going to create great beauty okay for the shimmer frost now if anyone's not familiar with our Shimmer Frost, this is a new jar because I love, love, love Shimmer Frost. But let me tell you a little secret. 
you can use etching cream to etch glass with our transfers which is beautiful and it's permanent but if you want to temporarily make something look like it's been etched glass use our shimmer frost it'll wash off but if you want it to be temporary you want it to wash off right okay this is my little gift from club couture for the anniversary of my subscription and it is a small squeegee in this beautiful deep pink pinky red color and i'm going to use it to do lady and legend i know i usually use the mini squeegee when i'm chalking but seriously for as large as these letters are I might as well upgrade to the small right and we have bigger squeegees we have we actually have a nice handled squeegee that is wonderful for doing like porch leaners and things like that make short work of applying the paste <clears throat> or ink if you're using ink on something but for me I think the small squeegee is doing exactly what I needed to do here make sure I have everything covered I don't want to accidentally go over my duchess. Let me remove the excess here. Make sure I get the tops and bottoms of my letters. I'm bad for missing them sometimes. Ooh, look at how quick. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? We clean the board, erase the previous design. I'm chalking a new design here. And I haven't been live 15 minutes. Can you imagine starting and completing a craft in 15 minutes? Oh my goodness, does this resonate, resonate with my soul? Excuse Miss Maggie, lapping up the water here. I'm going to go back over here. I'm looking at my um, Duchess, and it actually looks like I might have missed the top of some of my letters so let me put my excess paste back into my shimmer frost and go back to my duchess the very top of my letters look very light there and I could have maybe scraped a little bit too much off you really don't have to apply much pressure at all or I might have just actually missed them so I'm just going to go right back over it make sure I have everything covered and then I'm going to check the Bia also right here. Okay, easy peasy, two colors here. I could have probably done um, a hot mess technique would be nice on this, I think. And like I said, I think this would make a great image on a t-shirt. So it's time for peel and reveal. Ooh, see how this is stuck so strongly because of the smooth, smooth surface? So I'm going to lift it up slowly. Just make sure that I didn't miss anything, because if so, it's easy to fix it right now where I'm still attached and lined up. Otherwise, I have to clean it and lay it back down, line it up, and do it again. <gasps> what do you think? Don't be a lady. Be a legend. What a beautiful reminder for Motivational Monday. What do you think? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I surely do appreciate it. Oh, look at the sparkle. Now, this is the both of these were shimmer paste. And as they dry, they will be a little bit more shimmery than they are right now. But boy, that shimmer frost is surely picking up the light. Don't know if you could quite see it. But it's looking pretty, pretty nice. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you soon.